Good morning guys, what's up? Welcome back to another vlog or welcome if you're new. It is bright and early in the morning and I am so tired, <laughs> but I'm at the gym and I'm going in to get my workout done for today. Lots of new arrivals hitting the store, so it'll be a nice productive vlog, but let's go get this workout done. Just finished in the gym and I didn't really record my workout in there because it was kind of busy, but I had a really good workout. The workouts are getting so much harder. I think I'm on week eight now of Jess Hutchins program and whew, the reps go up, the intensity goes up, the number of sets that you're doing goes up and then it also feels like there's more workouts. That could just be me, but it seems like I'm doing more workouts in a setting at one time, you know? I'm really glad because I was doing like some planks and side planks and then some stuff with the ball and I was like watching myself in the mirror and I can just see definition in places that I have never seen before and it makes me feel so good because this is like the first time I've ever seen any real progress like of course I get a little definition like I look a little leaner I guess before when I would work out but now like I, I guess I'm just targeting the right muscle groups and everything now than what I was before because I see definition in my arms, of course, and then in my back, but also in my core, which is amazing. Just got back home and here are my stats. I'm super proud of the fact that I burned 442 total calories during an upper body day. Like that's amazing. I am making my chia seed pudding. So here's what it looks like after you let it sit overnight. And I'll show you guys how I do this, but I'll just pour it into a bowl and it's like, a little bit runny like cheesy pudding usually is and that's when I add in my coconut yogurt which makes it amazing so I just scoop that in there mix it all up then it will be a lot yummier and fluffier looking and I'm going to add blueberries and strawberries to it then I add my coconut almond granola from Sprouts. And lastly, I just top it off with a little bit of cinnamon. Okay, I have showered and I am in my comfy clothes. I don't know why, I just really didn't feel like putting on real clothes today. And I'm just doing a lot of stuff at home for the business, so I thought I might as well just be comfortable. I'll link this set, it's so comfy. Actually, I lied, it's not a set, but it does match like a set, but it's from Abercrombie and, um, I just like, they're sold separately, but these are just like super cozy sweatpants and then this little pullover and I love it so much. And I actually just brushed my hair. This little bit of wave is from yesterday's curls. So I just left it, put a little bit of makeup on and I have some inventory behind me. And I'm basically gonna make this vlog like behind the scenes, day in the life of a small business owner because I'm doing a lot of stuff that pertains to that today and I thought I would just show you guys. First part of my day always involves either going to Starbucks or making coffee at home. So I'm gonna make my coffee. I just fill up a cup with ice. Diavolito, shot of espresso. Add in some oat milk. So my first task of the day is just to go on and print all of the shipping labels for any orders that have come in because I try to go to the post office once a day, if not definitely every other day, so that I can get out any orders that come in for the boutique like as fast as possible. So I'm just going to go through and print all of these. This is kind of how I've been doing it lately versus each order then printing it, I find that it's a little bit faster. So I just go through, print all of these, and then when I get to the actual um, slip, it says the order number on it, and then I just pull it up and figure out what they ordered and then pack it up. I already have the slip ready, so I just stick it on there and it's like way faster. So I'm gonna go ahead and print all of these and then pack up these orders. I've got my coffee, delish, and I'm also eating some pretzels. <laughs>
So I did a little poll on Instagram to ask you guys if you want me to do inventory, just like one big drop like I was before, or just like slowly drop new items throughout the week. It seems like everyone wants me to go back to just dropping on Fridays. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. But today is Thursday and I did have plans for doing something today so i am gonna have a few items go live today but the majority of it will be tomorrow so here's a little behind the scenes action for you guys <laughs> i'm just shooting some things that are coming to the website soon and i bought this pink backdrop off of amazon and i just have my softbox light and then this is a poster board from the dollar tree this is some greenery that i bought on amazon just like fake palm leaves and then these are the earrings that i'm shooting the super cute ones i showed you guys in my last vlog they are the bamboo hoops and then i'm also going to shoot this new bag that's coming that is just like so vacationy i'm so excited about this little bag and it also has like a long strap so you can wear it as a crossbody so we're just going to take some cute pictures for the website and for the social media so here's what one of the shots turned out like i am still learning how to use this dslr that i've actually had since i started blogging a few years ago um, but i purchased a 50 millimeter lens for it and so it definitely helps make these photos look very like crisp and airy i mean this like looks like an ad i love the way it turned out and i just have to kind of play around and get creative with different backdrops and different little accessories to throw in there and bring some color into it because it could just be like that but that's boring so that's why i was like oh let me add this into it you know makes it pop just brought in my room divider just to kind of break up the pink a little bit and i think this looks amazing so i just like paired the bag with this vase and my pompous grass in it and then i have the earrings which i just decided to leave on the card instead of take them off because i just think it looks pretty it goes with the pink theme and so yeah i just took some photos of this i just think this turned out perfect i can't wait to do some styled shoots with actual outfits and this pink background along with the room divider i just think it's gonna look so good good morning guys i wasn't exactly planning on carrying this vlog into another day but nothing else happened yesterday that had to do with running a small business and i really want this vlog's focus to be all about like the small business life so i thought i would just carry it into today because yesterday's vlog i showed you guys a lot of the behind the scenes of shooting content and just how i take pictures for website graphics as well as social media but today i'm gonna get deeper into like the paperwork side of things i actually have to go see my cpa later today um and bring her some documents for tax stuff and then i also have lots of inventory to go through and then i am shooting some models later this evening um in some new arrivals that are coming this week so we have a nice productive day ahead of us and i am super excited to continue showing you guys like behind the scenes but i'm at the gym right now obviously about to go in and get my workout on and then go home and we will start the day just finished and here are my stats for today i just want to show you guys like if you remember when i first started jess hutchins program i was like barely getting 200 calories and now my total calories for this one workout is 457 just to give you an idea of how much harder they are getting so proud of myself though. i'm heading to starbucks now because i need to treat myself to a coffee after that i think that was my hardest workout yet just uh so hard but so good because i've never worked out this hard before on my own just made it to the drive through and it's like wrapped around the building i could have went in but i really don't want to go in there right now because i'm like gross but as i say that i'm literally thinking about stopping in walmart before i head home because so i have this great idea <laughs> i have this white vase and i have pompous grass in it and i love to use it i think i showed you guys like backdrops and just to create graphics it looks really pretty but i wanted to do a pink one so i went to target with Alyssa a few days ago and i found a really pretty vase that was pink but first of all it was twenty dollars and it was like kind of small and secondly it had a weird shape at the top like it had like this kind of a shape and i just want like a normal vase you know so <laughs> I feel like Spongebob and he's like, not this, not this, this. <laughs> Leave it to me to make Spongebob references. Anyway, so I really want to get a regular vase. And when I was with Alyssa, she told me, well, why don't you just get paint and paint a vase? You find the one you want and then you just paint it. So I found this really pretty like blush pink color paint at Target. And I was thinking if I go to Walmart, I can probably find one for really cheap, just like a vase. And then boom paint it and then it's mine so maybe i'll run into walmart to grab that i also need to get more hand sanitizer because this is me every time i need sanitizer it's like there's more in there i just can't get to it 
So I have to do this. Terrible. <laughs> Just got my coffee. I'm not sure why they use a dome lid, but I'm assuming maybe they ran out of the other ones. So good. It's the brown sugar um, iced shaken espresso. It just tastes like the way I make my oatmeal in the morning because it uses oat milk and it has like sugar in it. I mean, it's brown sugar, but brown sugar reminds me like cinnamon flavors and I make cinnamon oatmeal. So good. Anyways, I'm at Walmart. I'm gonna run in here really quick. Not gonna record because it's Walmart and it's gonna be packed. So I'm just gonna try and get in and out of there and I'll let you guys know if I find what I'm looking for. I am back. I did not find the vase I was looking for, but I did get my hand sanitizer and I also got an SD card because I am taking pictures with some girls tonight who are modeling for some money. I'm really trying to branch out and get more people on the website modeling in different shapes and sizes. One of my goals for this year was to diversify the brand a little bit more, um, which is definitely more work because it's easy for me to just model the stuff, but not everyone looks the way I do. So I want it to make Sun Bunny a place where all women feel like they can shop. So I'm having more models and so I needed a new SD card. But we're gonna head home now, take a shower. Okay, I just got out of the shower. I'm gonna make my muesli for breakfast. It's one of my favorites to have for breakfast. It's just this whole grain muesli, which is super yummy if you're a cereal lover. And some flaxseed meal. Very healthy. And then I do some oat milk, blueberries, and granola. Just put some makeup on and I'm just going to let my hair air dry, honestly. I don't really feel like doing it. So, I am going to start working on what I need to bring to my CPA today. So, my CPA is doing all of my taxes for me because it gets way too complicated. Um, but she did have like some homework for me before I bring her all of my paperwork. And one of the things I have to do is create a mileage log and also a expense log so any expenses that have to do with the business that you can write off like shipping materials and paying for my p.o box and the expenses involved in getting my business license and all of that stuff can be written off because it's a business expense so i have to go through and do all of that and i also have to highlight when I had my personal account, I had a lot of expenses starting up Sun Bunny before I got a business checking and savings account. So I have a lot in my personal bank account that was still a business expense before I set that up. So I have to go through tons of statements and highlight everything that was related to the business that was in my personal account. So that's kind of like my work right now that I'm gonna be doing. Um, and then at 2.30, I have to go see my CPA. off all the shipping labels and I'm gonna go ahead and pack orders everything that has come in over the last few days I have like 10 orders to pack really quick and then I'm trying to decide if I want to go now or later to get my nails and toes done because I'm doing two back-to-back -back photo shoots Tuesday and Wednesday for myself and then I have three shoots this week where I'm having other girls model for some money so it's gonna be a very busy week but I definitely need to get my nails redone
finished packing my orders and now I'm just going to work on tagging some jewelry because I have these earrings. I did most of them, but I have a few pairs left and then I have necklaces that I need to get done. And I text my CPA and I got so lucky. She said I could come at 3.30 and my nail guy said he could do my nails at two. So I am like back to back with things. So I have like 10 minutes to tag this jewelry. Then I'm gonna go and get my nails and toes done. Hopefully they can get both of those done in one hour. And then right after that, I have to head into town to see my CPA, drop off all this paperwork. That should be really quick. And then I have to come back. And then from five to seven, I have that photo shoot with the two girls who are really sweet. They're from FGCU and they offered to help model Sun Bunny for me. So I'm gonna be shooting content with them and I'm hoping my new camera lens comes in before that so I can use it tonight. I ordered a new camera lens and I'm so excited. I am really hoping it comes in. I mean, it's definitely coming in today. I just don't know if it's gonna come in like way later or before that photo shoot. Just dropped off the packages and now I'm at the nail salon. I'm gonna run in here and get my nails done and really hope they can get it done in an hour. It's much later now and I just got back home. I got my nails done and I actually decided to keep them long, which I didn't think I was gonna do, but I was looking at white nails and I got my toes done white too. And I just thought it'd be really pretty to keep them long and do the white. So that's what I did. And I'm eating a very late lunch now, but I just made a sandwich and then these little white cheddar baked cheetos they're amazing one of my favorite snacks and then chad got me this massive thing of watermelon from publix so i love publix watermelon chunks so i'm gonna have some watermelon and then i have just a little bit of time before i have to leave to go meet the girls for the sun money photo shoot my new lens did not come in yet but that's okay i'm about to head out of the house i just loaded up all of the stuff for the models to model that's sun bunny and i want to show you guys my little photographer outfit i love not having to be the model i was telling chad it's like so nice i don't have to dress up i don't have to worry about my hair and my makeup because i'm the one taking the pictures instead of being the model and it is just so nice for a change It's much later now and I'm watching TV and Chad and I need to start making dinner soon. It feels late and it's not, wait. Oh yeah, it is late, it's eight. <laughs> um, but the photo shoot went super well with my new two models. They did really, really awesome. And I am just so excited that I got all of those pictures for the website. We've got new faces. So I have three new models now on the website and I'm shooting two more other girls this week. So the website by like, the end of the week is going to be filled with all kinds of girls with all shapes and sizes and i'm so excited so that was pretty much it this is like a few days in my life as a small business owner thank you guys so much for watching today's vlog and if you're not already subscribed be sure to click that subscribe button and i'll see you in my next video